Chu's with me. He's the chairman of First Eastern Investment Group. Good to see you, Very sir. Very good to see you, sir. So, and I, the big problem I have is I don't understand how China continues with this lockdown policy when it can see that the rest of the world is pretty much back to normal. And we're all getting on with our things. And we're not all dying. Uh, how do they justify it? Well, the Chinese government's uh, legitimacy does not rely on the ballot box. It relies on its ability to save lives and protect its people. I think the whole political philosophy is, is quite different from the West. But I think eventually the East and the West will have to evolve um, into the middle. And you will see China uh, progressively becoming more flexible, provide Omicron and other variants are under control. And Hong Kong is leading the way now. Uh, we're progressively uh, relaxing. Every 20th day of the month, there'll be a review. And right now we are uh, seven days and it will be less uh, return but quarantine. I guess the, you know, the issue one sees when, with Hong Kong, I mean, if the vaccination procedures had been strong and good and the vaccines worked, then they'd be in the same position as the rest of us. Well, our difficulty, Richard, uh, is that the elderly were quite reluctant. Uh, to vaccinate. Ninety percent of the right. fatality are people over 70 who have not been vaccinated. But we're getting there. Today, 95 percent of Hong Kong's population had the first dose. Ninety percent has second dose. We're getting there. Victor, do you think, well, you don't obviously, the, the, the view, there is a view, and I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Hong Kong's finished. Hong Kong is finished. The way China forced Hong Kong to do a lockdown because of the border there being important, the destruction of Cathay Pacific, the, yeah, Hong Kong's over. Well, I, I, I think that's fundamentally misconceived. You should come and see it. You know, the rule of law is robust. Uh, the stability is bad. You know, we, before COVID, we have one year of social disruption. And what we have to do better on the one country, two systems uh, protocol. This is the, the Hong Kong model. But, the, the, but even, even allowing for that, mm. Is there still a, is there still the oomph or is there now just a view because the international investors say whenever Beijing wants to turn it off, it can do. Well, net, net, the, the red lines that's been drawn, you yep. know, that brings stability back. Yep. That will, that will bring Hong Kong a fundamentally stronger and, and more stable in the long term. Because the big question is 2047. What happens to Hong Kong after the, the 50 year? We are now halfway through. On 1st of July, we're celebrating the 25th anniversary. Now that we have Hong Kong back in a stable uh, phase, we can talk about the future. Right. But in terms of, in terms of just um, enticing investors back, to a market that has had such difficulties. How do you do that? Well, when you've got Singapore chomping at the bit for the business, everywhere from Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, there are no shortage of places that will take your money. Well, I, I was with my Singaporean friends here, yes. right? And we both agree that uh, Hong Kong and Singapore will continue to prosper together. And we were heard light there for Hong Kong before, you know, before 97. We, we had that interview at the Regent Hotel, uh, remember? Yeah, yeah. I do, of course. And, and you know what happened, you know, after the 20 odd years. Hong Kong continued to thrive. Now, you must have heard of the uh, GBA, the Greater Bay Area, yeah. next to Hong Kong. That is Silicon Valley and Wall Street combined. And we're at the early stages of launching that. That could be another new era for Hong Kong to relaunch. And uh, finally, how many Davoses have you done? 28. Oh, my goodness. 28. <laughs> and this is the best. All right. This it the is. Best. This is the best. It, it is the best. And I agree with Julia. The, oh, please. The serious issues are being focused. She's, she's only telling what I've been saying all day. <laughs> Come over here, sir. Come over here. Right. Would you prefer Davos in the snow or Davos I, in the spring? I would spring, but without rain. Woman, she, she's now there, there well, I've the balance, Julia, right? To, yeah, to, to <laughs> defacing... There's wanton vandalism going on here. Good to see Thank you, you so sir. Much, Thank Good you luck. so much. Now, in Hong Kong, come back soon. In Hong Kong, Questions Business, and we'll join you there. Thank you so much. You can show me around. Thank you.